gonna give us a wee demonstration on how to try and keep a top of your brushing um, until you can get your dog in for grooming. This is Kitty and she's pretty hairy, she hasn't been groomed for a couple of weeks so um, I'm going to give her a wee brush and show you the best way to go about it. So get yourself a good uh, conditioning demand spray. This is Show Silk Unigroom but anyone will do. Give a nice spray, make the coat nice and damp. This just helps with friction makes it easier for the brush to go through. You're going to split your dog into sections, so concentrate on one section at a time. So from here back is section one, from here to here, section two, and then the head and chest is section three. So start lifting the coat up, brush it down in little sections. Making sure that you're getting right down. Good girl, Kitty. Talk to your dog all the time. Reassure them that it's okay. You can use treats to reward them for being good, something that they really like. Kitty's not really into food, so we're not going to use anything for her. Plus, she's used to being groomed as well. So you can see how I'm brushing it all out in sections. I've got my hand here, you want to make sure you can feel the brush on the other side so that you know you're getting all the way down to the bottom. And then once you've given it a good brush, you start again at the bottom using your comb. This is an ideal comb, this is an Ancol comb. The teeth are nice and long and set wide apart and are good for any coat. Comb in both ways. Get with that one, And then at the back, make sure you get right in. This is where all the tangles hide. Kitty has a lot of hair for a papillon. You can see, despite brushing how much extra hair the comb is getting out, just go nice and gently. Don't rush, so that if you do catch a knot, you can work it out nice and gently, so you don't hurt your dog. All the time, have your hand at the back and make sure you can feel your, your comb going all the way through to your hand at the back. Then you know you're getting right down to the base of the skin. Along, all the way along the tummy is a area that is likely to mat because when they get wet and if they're out of walk in the rain or they wear a jacket or a harness, so lift the hair up and again you're just brushing it down in sections. Kitty face happy darling, good girl. Lift their ear up, put your thumb behind their ear. Lift all the hair up and brush it down. Good girl, Kitty. It's all right. Take your comb. Hold the ear and hold the hair so that you're not tugging too much. Make sure you can feel the brush coming off the end of the ear. The tip of the ear is a common place to mat. So once you've brushed the outside of the ear, Turn your ear over and then brush from the inside to make sure you're catching all, all the hair. A really good brush through. And then a comb. So she has a little tug here. So we're going to use our oh, sorry, darling. We're going to use our dematter. So just hold the hair at the base and gently use it in a slight rocking motion, and it'll start to break down the mat. And that's 
the ears done. It looks like Kitty doesn't have a hairy face like your lasses or and your cockapoos or labradoodles, but to brush their face, um, again, you're just going to start at the top of their head, brush it back, give a really good brush down here, brush their face. You should give them a really good brush under their chin. These areas here are prone to matting. She's just not used to getting her face brushed because she doesn't need to have her face brushed. Um, so give it all a good brush. And then again, go through it all with your comb. All the way through here. And you comb their... It's easy if you comb their beard towards you, you'll catch more, more mats in that way. Any mats that you find, use your brush and your dematter to break it down. And then last but not least, we'll show you how to do tail. Always remember their tail is an extension of their spine so you have to be careful. Give it a spray. Make sure you're holding the tail and work your way down giving it a good brush. Kitty says she doesn't want her tail brushed. This side's a bit tuggy so we'll just give it another wee brush. Again. So all nice and combed out. So quick recap. Best way to tackle grooming your dog is to split it into three sections. From here backwards, from the ribs to the shoulders, and then from the, the neck up. Tackle one section each day so that you can really focus on it. Um, it's much better that you concentrate on doing one small section every day than trying to tackle the whole dog at once. Always make sure you go right down to the base. Make sure you're lifting up the ears, getting under here, right in here. Back to your legs, your hips, underneath, iron pits, the chest and under the ears are your dangered areas for matting. Wee Kitty says thank you very much for watching and she's going to go and have a sweeties now for being a good girl.